Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Dirita Yuzu. Yes, I hold all my Bitcoin since 2013. I had some crashes, a lot of them, and I had some runs, a lot of them as well. And uh, today is an awful day because we just saw a huge, huge dip in Bitcoin. I'm smiling a little bit because, yes, that's a possibility for people to buy, but I also feel sorry for all the people that are getting liquidated and all the people that at the moment... Uh, feel fear and because i know a lot of you will feel fear this is already the third video today i'm making three ta videos just to show you a little bit what is going on i found a really cool chart um, uh, that i used a huge a long time ago i did edit the chart now a little bit i'm going to share that chart again with you to show you what my perspective is on this market on this huge bitcoin dip Please watch that video to the end. I will keep it short, only eight minutes or something, so you can um, watch the whole video. Uh, don't freak out, zoom out, look at these charts. This one, bam. Look, I'm going to share with you as simple as possible. I need to first put my face in the bottom right over there. This is the day chart. And in the day chart, we can see that we broke all those levels of support. We are even down below the 200 day moving average, this red line. The day candle still needs to close. It will take another eight and a half hour, so we can easily close above that red line. That means we found support on the 200 day moving average. This green box you can see over there, that is the box that we all the way dropped to the bottom, all the way to 30K. And these lines are the support lines of the moment we broke out of that region over there. That was a balloon popping because of the birthday of my, uh, my kid yesterday. And this bottom line over there, um, that was, you know, the area that this flag was forming itself in when we broke out. That these are the regions of support. It's not like one line is support. It's like there is a level of support. It's a box that in which you can drop it with the price. If you look at the chart like this, it's freaking you out because we are dropping like with a candle of 45 all the way to 30. There's a 15,000 US dollar drop in one day candle already. If you calculate all the other days, it's from 60 all the way to 30. That's a 50% drop. And that is what I want to show you now with this chart, this one. Bam. On this chart, you can see the same green area between those two green lines. You can see that we dropped all the way to 50, uh, to 30,000 US dollar, even 29,900 US dollar, which was a 50%, 55% drop from the top. You don't see the price movement yet on this chart because this is the BLX. This is the chart with the most data and it will show this next candle move in uh, tomorrow's uh, update. But to show you how it went, we went from there all the way there with a wick and the body is somewhere now over there of the candle. So we need to close above this line. Why do I show you this? Because you see here this green area the fear area where we all thought Bitcoin is going to drop to 20k is the same area as this one. Now I'm going to slowly zoom out on the chart so you understand why I do this. Check this. Now we are going to look further back and we are going to look at how often Bitcoin crashed and what it did it do to many people's feeling. Here, this is the 2019 one. We went all the way up to 14k, we crashed with 72% to 3k guys that was a huge crash do you see what happened after we went up we went up big time now let's take a look at the next one let's go back a little bit more here this was a 2017 bull run we crashed with 84% after the 84% crash what did we do we went up this huge run to 14k from 3k to 14k 
And if we zoom out a little bit more, we can see more of these crashes during the 2017 bull run. This is the 2017 bull run. We crashed with 28%, we crashed with 39%, we crashed with 35%, we crashed with 37, 38%. We crashed here again. I didn't draw that one because, um, look, the, the text goes over it, 40%. So we see a lot of these crashes in 2017. And afterwards, we crashed with 80%. But what did we do after that? We went up. We can look back in history. The 2014 crash, that is this huge crash of 85%. The 2013 crash, even there, it's a huge crash of 76%. These were all crashes. These were all the moments that you started to freak out and that you should have been started to buy. If you bought there, you would have made profit. If you bought the bottom there, you would have made profit. If you have bought the bottom during the 2017 crashes, every bottom, you would have made profit. If you bought the bottom here in 2019 or 2018, I mean, you would have made profit. If you would have bought the bottom after the 2019 crash, 72%, 3K, you would now be in huge profits. You would go times 20 because we went to 60K. Now we crashed with 55%. Yes, we could crash even more, but I think there's a huge area of support in this area. So I don't think we will crash down below 30%, uh, 30K. But you can see in history, crashes are part of this Bitcoin game. And they are the moments that you start to feel fear and you start to feel like, oh my God, what is going to happen? Please turn that fear into the power to buy. Buy that dip. If you buy those dips, you will survive. And that is what we see because already now, Bitcoin is pulling back to 38,000 US dollars. So we could close around 39,000 dollars in eight hours time, which would mean support on a 200 day moving average. Guys, um, that was the last video I'm going to make today. I don't want to make too many videos because I think um, you will be getting uh, sick of my head on your screen bam but again i hope you really enjoyed this video if you did enjoy the video please give the video a thumbs up share with your friends and family if you know they are freaking out hit the notification bell please leave a comment and respond to this video let me know what you think how you feel and if you want your friends to not freak out share this video with them so they understand that even people like me feel the same fear but they convert that fear into buying that's what you should be doing now buy the dip. That is why they call it like that. Thank you for again for watching this third video today. Um, hope it makes you feel a little bit more relaxed. And now I'm really going to go to the sea, have a swim in the beautiful blue uh, Mexican sea. Uh, before you know it, we could be in Europe. So I need to enjoy that one as well till uh, the end of this month, minimal. Thanks for watching guys and see you tomorrow again. Bam.